it's time for my soul. And it's with an alien, Bobby Tony's wife. It sometimes gets confusing, but then so does real life. The turtles on music, hey, anything goes on American Daytime Show. Looking for love and a kind desire. Turn to all my children or turn on to the fire of Oprah's emotion. Donna Hughes Blair, Sally Jesse's glasses and Joan Rivers' new hair. The talk show has passion, it's too fish is far. It's kind of like a soap except there's only one star. They're dealing with issues but wearing great clothes on the wonderful day. Word today is here to cheer shows. That's the mystery in the kids' private church. And they love Mr. Rogers because they think he's a smart. When you withdraw, our game shows are free. Let's give a cheer for Jeopardy in question for please. I'll take that at two blocks. Now I won for that show. American Day. A big neighborhood where everyone's a spy and they can sing really good. The heroes in traction, the villains depressed. The heroine's in prison, but she's very well dressed. The women are luscious, the men are all sad. The money spent on hairspray could buy a Japan. Escape the romance and go up in the throat of the fabulous daytime show. Treasury mayhem and a pop. daytime drama for me was when I found out that Opal was back. She is one of my favorite kind of girls, never afraid to say whatever is on her mind. Here is the actress who plays her, and she also brought along her son, Tad the Cad, with her. From All My Children, Jill Larson and Michael Knight. You look good. Oh, yeah? This old uh, rag? Yeah. You like it, huh? Nice. Are you kidding? Uh, this is what I always wear to with Times Square in the middle of the afternoon, doesn't everybody? <laughs> Looks that way. Yeah. Our first Emmy today goes to the outstanding supporting actress in a daytime drama. Only in daytime can you find the range of actresses assembled in this category. And only in daytime can you believe the array of emotions and events their characters must endure. And only in daytime can you believe that I play his mother. <laughs> <laughs> Here are the nominees. <laughs> you can believe in me and we can make it. Shut up! Don't you understand? It disgusts me to know that I am capable of loving someone like you. You don't have a soul. I clung to that one moment of goodness that you had with Stuart. I lied to myself. It wasn't a lie. But... No! All right, don't touch me. It's just going to make me feel dirty. Your son was your obsession, and I guess that you were mine, but no more. No more. Brooke. 
Let's just get out no, of my room. No, no, no. Just get out! No, I'm not... I'm gonna help! I need it! From all my children, Julia Barr. So, why did you take Mara? I went to the house. I was knocking. Nobody answered. She was... She... She was running around. She was panicking. What was I supposed to do? You broke the pane on the door, right? The glass? Yes. Josh, I had to. The door was locked. Reba, nobody was home. I, I, I couldn't figure out why you'd left her alone. From Guiding Light, Michelle Ford. Yeah. Yeah. But of course not, Lee. A lovely little number for those quiet, intimate nights at home with the woman you love, perhaps by um, a hot, roaring fire. From General Hospital, Lynn Herring. <laughs> you stay away from me, and Jill, I promise you, or you, you will... Me what, David? What are you going to do? Rough me up, tough guy? You're going to shoot me, huh? You're pushing me, Jill. Yes, I am. Look, Nina loves me. She'd never listen to anything you have to oh, say. Oh, she will this time. Because I am her son's grandmother. You've forgotten that? There's somebody I care about more than myself. And I will stop at nothing to protect him from you. So, you're out of Nina's life. And you're out of the baby's life. You got that? You're gone. You're history. Now, you get on that plane, or by God, I'll make you wish you had. Jess Walton. It's very rude if you're grabbing the phone out of my hands like that. Just shut up! Now give me the bonds. Now, what would you be doing with Catherine's bonds anyway? And what's in that little bottle you're holding? Give me the damn bonds. What in the world's gotten into you? You... Julie, you're not yourself at all. I told you to shut up. All right, darling, I, I, I was just, uh... Worried about you. From General Hospital, Mary Jo Catlett. Mm. And the winner is from all my children, Julia Bond. <laughs> No, this is, this is really an honor. I can't tell you. Um, but I have to say that a more accurate description of it is that it's the icing on the cake for me because um, for the last 14 years, I have had the privilege and honor of working with a talented, generous, creative group of people, and I could not have asked for more. And, ooh, ooh. <laughs> I just want to thank you, all my children. I really do. And also because life is not a soap opera, thank God, um, I want to thank my husband, Richie. And if my sweet daughter, Allison, is watching, yes, Mom won the Enemy Award. <laughs> mm. Thank you. Thank you very much. Everyone convinced that she was a librarian, but then they found her collection of disposable lingerie with her, and with her today is the one man who was never fooled. Her one true love? Who can say? From General Hospital, the fun couple, Ken Schreiner and Lynn Herring. <laughs> Okay. 
Thank you. So do you. Thank you. It's said that youth is the carefree time of your life. But the four young actresses who are this year's nominees for Outstanding Juvenile Female, well, they can dispute that. Yeah, among them they've been uh, kidnapped, lost parents and step-parents, uh, befriended aliens, been raised by spies, been in and out of one or more comas. You know, that is hardly what I remember when I was growing up. Well, don't ask me. I grew up in show business. Sounds perfectly normal. Yeah. Um, it takes an exceptional young actress to keep an audience glued through all these mishaps. And these nominees, well, they are spellbinders. I don't want to be a kid anymore. Well, I guess some of us get upset with the way we are sometimes. I do we never upset about being an adult. Yes, actually, sometimes I am. I'd rather be a little girl, you know, without a care in the world, never having to have any responsibilities. You know what I mean? I think so. Isn't that what Dad meant when he used to say? I envy you, love. These are the most important years of your life. Too bad you won't know until they're over. From General Hospital, Kimberly McCullough. <laughs> Talk about what? Kim, I already know the facts of life. Tell you what, why don't we all go downstairs and have some dinner? Or better yet, oh, why don't you go back into my father's bed and I'll bring it up to you on a tray. Hey, stop it. Don't tell me what to do, Kimberly. <laughs> you have no right to tell anybody please, anything. Please listen to me, Eve. You lied listen to, to me. us. You lied to all of us. You've only been gone for like what? six months. He's been dead for months, sweetheart. I don't care. I don't care. If you loved him, you wouldn't forget him, Kimberly, if you really loved him. From Days of Our Lives, Her. If you choose her, then I will go away. I will leave you alone. No, I will no, get no, out of no. your life, but no. you have to choose. You have to want me. Not just the baby. Me. I don't get it. You know, people get married, and they promise they are going to love each other forever. And then out of that love, they have kids. And then you know what? The first time that something goes wrong, bang, they quit. But you know what? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because you could just go on. Well, it does matter. What about the kids? about me. From all my children, Liz Bassey. And the winner is, from all my children, Teddy McLean. family and all my children. They are the most generous, loving, giving, creative, inspiring people that I've ever worked with. Michael Knight, I love you. I adore you. You make my day shine with happiness. Julia Barr, you are an inspiration to me in your acting and your creativity. David Canary, working with you has been a joy, a thrill, it's been incredible. <laughs> I'd like to thank my two best friends, Dana Roth and Molly McLean. They've supported me and loved me through so many years, and I'm just so grateful to them. And to my dad for sending me two dozen roses after eight years. <laughs> Thanks, I really appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you all, ABC, Agnes Nixon, Felicia Bear, Henry Kaplan, for supporting me and for teaching me to grow and giving me a great storyline to fight with and grow with. I love you all. Thank you very much.